Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your host, Arctic Ghost, and welcome to another episode of the Arctic Popper Show. Uh, last week I brought you Paragon Tron, which was a basically mono blue with a touch of red for a win condition of uh, the Paragon Tron combo. This is more of the popular version that's been going around. This is blue-red uh, Paragon Drake Control, where... You're mostly a blue-red control deck, but you also use the Paragrind Shell to win the game. Now, most people, um, you know, have different takes on this build. They have more of a combo or uh, combo version, or some have more of a control version. Uh, some run less Paragrind Drakes, you know, things like that. But uh, this is my take on it. This is the list that I've come to, and uh, figured we'd just check it out. So first up, you got four Preordain, as I've, as I've been saying, you know, in this type of combo deck, Preordain is better than Ponder because you get to push away cards that you don't need. Then you have four Counterspell because you actually have access to be playing Counterspell because you play, uh, you don't play Tron or anything like that, so you, you're able to have access to uh, blue mana, so that's great. And Counterspell is probably the best that you can use. I mean, I guess you could use Mana Leak if you're really afraid of that, but Counterspell is just strictly better. Uh, well, not strictly because it's too blue, but you get the point. And then you have Compulsive Research, pretty much the best three mana spell that you could use to draw cards. I guess you could use Accumulated Knowledge or, you know, things of that nature if you really wanted to, but I've been very happy with Compulsive Research. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I was getting messages right as I was trying to record. That's pretty funny. So, next up, you have, of course, Ghostly Flicker. Uh, I don't play 4 because I don't think 4 is actually all that needed. I think 3 is just fine. The reason why Peregrine Drake is so good in this deck as a 4 of is because it's, at worst, a 5-mana a 2 3 flyer that also can win the game. Because you can go Peregrine Drake into leaving up Counterspell and some removal spells and whatnot. I've seen people go to 3 Peregrine Drakes. I've seen people go as, as small as 2, but um, so far I like having 4. Then you have four Seagate Oracle because it's the best blocker that you could have at three mana for this type of deck. And, you know, you get to draw a card and you get to push your bad card to the bottom, hopefully, and whatnot. Then, of course, two Mnemonic Wall, which is pretty standard in all these decks. Four Mole Drifter, which is pretty standard in all these decks. And then four Paragrind Drake, as where I said, you could go three if you really wanted to, but I'm going to stick to four. Uh, so, in the removal suite, I went with three Fire Bolt, four Flame Slash, and three Lightning Bolt. A lot of people go with four Firebolt, but I took one out to make room for one Caravex Torch. Originally, the list that I was playing did not actually have a win condition, besides returning Lightning Bolt over and over again. And uh, on Magic Online, that just really, really ticked me off. So I decided to put one Caravex Torch in, because you're not generating so much mana, so Rolling Thunder isn't going to do all that much. You just want a win condition that can get through. And uh, Caravex Torch was the best win condition I could think of. Also, I mean... It, it's a decent, you know, a decent way to use your mana early in the game, if you really can. As far as the mana base goes, you have one Forgotten Cave and two Lonely Sandbars, just some Cycle Lands, uh, six Island, and three Mountain. You could try playing with Snow-Covered Lands and then playing with Scred, but I think Flame Slash overall is just going to be better. Uh, then you have six Dual Lands, and three is a Boiler Works. You don't really want to go with four, because the Karoo can be kind of a liability, so you only go with three. And you don't need Karoos to actually win the game with the Paragrand Drake. You just need five mana, a Mnemonic Wall, and play, and a Ghostly Flicker. So, that's that. As far as Cyborg goes, you've got four Power Blast, four Hydro Blast. You have a Dispel to play as a fifth one of each of either of these. You have Electricery, and I yes, I did try Fade Away, but I think Electricery is just better against the decks you're bringing it in against. The only deck where it's not better against, I think, is Goblins, because of the Goblin Slitter or Mog Raiders. Um... You could also say it's not as good against Elves. This is true because they have things like Timberwatch Elf, but um, in a likely scenario, you know, you're hopefully going to be casting this as like a 3 or 4 for 1, and uh, Fade Away sometimes against Elves doesn't, you know, really pan out all that well anyway. On average, it should, but I think it just depends on the deck that's playing it. Uh... And then you have Stone Rain. I have Stone Rain over Molten Rain because I sometimes have problems getting double red on turn three. So I just decided to go with Stone Rain against, like, the Mirror and, uh, you know, other Tron decks and, and whatnot. Quick note also for anyone who watched my videos from last week. Uh, I 5 would that league. <laughs> Had to get a little lucky to do it, but I 5 would the league. I ended up facing off against... Um, uh, hold on a second. 
I ended up facing off against this deck where I won game one and then game two my opponent got unfortunately mana screwed. Uh, and I drew multiple Earth Rifts, and then the fifth one, I beat Elves. Pretty handily, actually. Uh, elves is not always the greatest matchup for Paragrind decks, especially Elves is just, you know, making a real, real big stance in Pauper now. But So, uh, anyway, before I keep ranting on, this is the deck. Uh, you know, the, the, the thing about Tron compared to this deck is, like, if you want to go for more of a control version, you can go for this. If you want to go more of a turbo version, you can go for the Tron version. And if you want to go for just a pure combo deck, you can go for the Esper version. But, of course, there's going to be more Paragrind decks uh, coming from me. Because I love playing this card. This card's actually a lot of fun. I will say that one thing I don't like about this deck is it has now access to Moments Piece. And I think Moments Piece is a very, very big card in the format right now. I think if you are playing a deck that has access to it... Um, you're going to go very, very far if you're a control deck, especially a combo deck. So that's that. I'm going to run this through a league, probably play uh, three matches, and, uh, well, I'm going to, you know, I'm probably going to record three matches and uh, hopefully do well for you guys. So I'll see you then, and then thanks for watching.